Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Raj Basord. I'm a consultant doctor and psychiatrist, and I work in private practice in Harley Street, London, in the United Kingdom. The Pope has very recently died, and this is obviously an extremely tragic event, with many people, billions of people, all over the world grieving over this tragic loss. Because the death of the Pope is in the news at the moment, and many, many millions of people would have been praying for the Pope, given he was unwell physically before he died, and this was widely known. From a strictly scientific standpoint, and I, I discuss this meaning in no sense disrespect to Catholics or people grieving for the Pope, but the death of the Pope is in the news at the moment, and it does um, raise a question over the power of prayer, given that many millions of people, in fact, statistically speaking, there's about 1.4 billion Catholics on the planet. And it is a routine, almost routine, or indeed routine part of the Catholic Mass to formally pray for the Pope. So you've got 1.4 billion people praying for the Pope. And from a scientific standpoint, if prayer did actually make a practical difference, is there any evidence that it may have had a positive effect on the longevity of the Pope? And again, this is in no um, sense meant to be blasphemous, but actually there has been scientific research examining the power of prayer, and in particular, clinical studies, randomised, double-blind control studies, just like the kind of thing you would do to examine whether a new drug works or not that is superior to a placebo, there have been exactly the same kind of clinical trials, believe it or not, double-blind, randomized control trials, examining the effect of prayer on the longevity of seriously ill people, with some very surprising results if you are a scientist. So we're going to discuss some of that research and think a little bit about the implications. And obviously, there is one very dramatic implication, which is that if you can find uh, that prayer does actually extend to people's lives, praying for people extends their lives, then is this, in a, in a sense, proof that there are supernatural forces and that God exists? So if we look at the age of the Pope, um, he died um, when uh, he was 88 years old. Um, the average male life expectancy uh, for people, for men in Italy, is roughly speaking um, 81 years old. So the average life expectancy of men in Italy is 81 years old, and the Pope died at 88. He lived significantly longer than the average Italian male. Given there were billions of people, or 1.4 billion people, pray, praying for him, it is some evidence that praying for him had a positive effect on his longevity. Um, he was born in Argentina, and the male life expectancy, the average male life expectancy in Argentina, is 73 years old. So he lived even longer than the average person, male person from Argentina, um, and he came from Argentina, and he died at 88. Is this some evidence that the 1.4 billion Catholics praying for the Pope did have an effect on this longevity. Um, to answer that question, um, let's examine the clinical research. And there's some very surprising findings there. It, it all begins with a study published in the late 1980s, um, which um, was conducted by doctors working um, at uh, a famous heart hospital, the San Francisco um, General Hospital, well, the coronary care unit of the San Francisco General Hospital, and uh, a blinded control trial of 393 patients who were admitted to the coronary care unit, um, randomised into two groups. One group experienced what's called intercessory prayer. What that means is they get prayed for, but they don't know whether they're being prayed for or not. Just like, just like in a double-blind randomised control trial, you don't know whether you're taking the drug or taking the placebo. So there were some people praying for um, half the group that were in the coronary care unit and the other half were not being prayed for. Was there a statistically significant difference in the outcomes? Startling enough, and this is a rigorous academic study published in a scientific journal, 
the people who were being prayed for had a better health outcome. The study was repeated, this time in a coronary care unit at Kansas City, um, the Mid-America Heart Institute, Kansas City. And again, surprisingly enough, the results were that people who were prayed for um, did better um, in the coronary care unit than people who were not prayed for. I want to emphasise again, um, the people who were being prayed for didn't know whether they were in the group that were being prayed for or not. So you can't argue that somehow there was some kind of comfort or psychological benefit because they didn't know um, who was being prayed for and who wasn't. However, the authors of the study, um, and in both cases, both the San Francisco coronary care unit study and the Kansas City coronary care unit study, the argument is that although this is a remarkable result, um, you could expect this result to occur just by sheer chance. If you randomize two groups of people and repeat the experiment often enough, um, there's basically a one in 25 chance in every 25 times you repeat the study, in at least one case, um, you're going to get this kind of difference if it occurred just by chance alone. So there's an argument that this is just a chance finding and that isn't evidence that prayer really works and that supernatural forces at work. There have been other studies that have been done and there's some controversy. Some studies find a positive effect of prayer on medical outcomes and other studies find um, no effect. Um, one study found that people who believed in faith healing for very ill children ended up that ended up being dangerous for the children. They ended up doing much worse. So be careful about replacing faith healing or prayer with actual medical intervention. And it is interesting, the Pope did actually go and see Western trained doctors and maybe his demise was hastened by the fact he didn't follow the medical advice, which was to rest. And he um, took part in um, a, a service and died uh, about 24 hours later. So did that happen because he wasn't following Western medical advice? So maybe believing too much. And again, this is not meant to be blasphemous, but we're just discussing how this event, um, what this event may tell us um, about the power of prayer. So there have been studies looking at blood infection, dementia patients and finding that actually praying for people does seem to have a beneficial effect. But the trouble is, it's controversial and some studies find an effect, other studies don't find an effect. Um, now, um, the most recent and I think really interesting study um, looked at comparing Roman Catholic bishops um, with um, priests and then compare, another comparison group were, were academics. So, um, one of the reasons why um, this is interesting is Roman Catholic bishops are, are formally named in Catholic masses, whereas Roman Catholic priests are not. So um, basically, you'd expect if prayer had an effect, given more people are praying for bishops than for priests, that you'd expect there to be a difference in the lifespan of bishops compared to priests if prayer had an effect. And that's exactly what this study found. It investigated 857 Catholic bishops, 500 Catholic priests, and the control group um, was 3,038 male academic teachers. Um, and obviously, no one's going to be praying for them, um, especially not their students. Anyway, um, the uh, study found that bishops did live statistically significantly longer, on average, than just priests who were not bishops. Um, and given that the bishops are prayed for formally, you might argue this is an effect of being prayed for, showing that being prayed for has an effect on longevity. But the authors of the study say that bishops also earn more money than ordinary priests, and they have a different lifestyle as a result. And maybe um, as a result of these lifestyle differences, that explains why bishops live longer um, than priests. The other interesting thing was to look at the size of the diocese, because the, long, the bigger the diocese, the more congregations there are, the more praying that's going on. And uh, if prayer was having an effect, we'd expect bishops who live in, uh, or, or come from larger dioceses with more people are praying for them, if prayer had an effect, to live longer than bishops from smaller dioceses. And in fact, the research evidence is there was no statistical difference depending on the size of the diocese. So um, we already know that prayer in itself is a comfort to people doing the praying. But these, these studies 
are looking at when people are being prayed for. So it's remote, the remote effect of prayer on other people. And the people being prayed for don't know that they're being prayed for. So there's no possibility of a psychological effect. And there is some evidence that being prayed for remotely has a remote effect. And so some people would argue um, this is, you know, evidence of something quite um, astonishing. But I want to repeat again. Some studies find an effect, other studies don't find an effect. So it's still a very controversial area. Um, but you may want to ask yourself a question. If you are taking away from this stuff that prayer does work and you get admitted to a coronary care unit, how would you feel if the doctor came to you in the coronary care unit? Obviously, you're acutely ill. You may have had a heart attack. And he said, we're not going to do any medical work on you. We're just going to pray. I mean, how would you feel about that? Um, that's the acid test to me of whether you believe in prayer or not. Clearly, the Pope was a very special man, and, and therefore billions of people were praying for him, 1.4 billion. Maybe the point of all this is that whatever happens in our lives, forget the, the length of years we live, don't aim for that. Aim to lead the kind of life where at the end of it, or towards the end of it, millions of people don't want you to die, or large numbers of people. It might be millions for most of us. Large numbers of people don't want you to die, and they're praying for you. They want you to stay alive. So maybe you should lead the kind of life that creates that effect, um, that people want to pray for you because of the way that you've led your life. And to some extent, that could be definitely said about the Pope. Thank you very much.